Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog is going to be us cycling all around central London. Um, it was so much fun. We kind of cheated a bit and got the tube into um, central London by getting to Gloucester Road. And then from there we cycled everywhere. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover now whilst we're kind of cycling to, on our way to um, Regent Street to pop to Liberty, the department store. Just so that I can talk you through where we are because it was a little bit windy um, when we were cycling and i think we see some really good sites especially if you've not been to london or you miss, i know a lot of you miss london or used to live here or want to live here and love seeing the streets so i'm going to talk you guys through um where we go if i sound a bit strange talking and you've seen my other videos and you're like what's happened to eva's mouth i've got invisalign um, which you'll see at the end of this video um, and i'm still getting used to it so at the end of the video was like the first time i got invisalign and now it's been two days since then so i'm still getting used to it but I hope you enjoyed the video, let's get into it. I'm also talking like this because I've just painted my nails. Um, I'm still on the loving, kind of just having my tips of my nails painted. Um, it's very uneven though. Like this hand is kind of smaller than this one in terms of how much I painted. But I need to get some stencils. Till then it'll do. Okay, let's get into the video. So we started off in Gloucester Road, like I said. So we got the tube to Gloucester Road, took our bikes on the tube, which you can do um, included in any ticket. Um, between, when was it, Alan? 9.30 and 4.30, we can take our... Half nine, yeah. Half nine, four. half nine till four, you can take a, tra a, a train. You can take a bike on a tube. And where I'm cycling at the moment is Gloucester Road. Um, to get these shots, I actually put my camera on the tripod and then tucked it into the waist of my jeans. Um, so I'm hoping it's not too bumpy for you guys. I think it worked out quite well. And then just here we're going towards, if you kept going straight down this street we're on now, you would get to South Kensington, which is where the Natural History Museum are, uh, is, the Science Museum, and also the Royal Albert Hall. I uh, no, yeah, well, kind of. But the Royal, um, what am I, I should have, what am I trying to say? Victorian Albert Museum, jeez. This is what lockdown brain does to you. Um, so if we kept going straight, we would get there. Um, but we're actually going to turn left which is down Queensgate and that's going to take us to one of the entrances um, to Hyde Park which you can see now. So the red gates in front of us here are actually um, the gates that kind of go into Kensington um, Gardens or Kensington, yeah Kensington Gardens. Um, one second I'm just going to let myself talk here and then I'll be back. Oh, I'm out of breath from that. As you guys can see, we are cycling around London today. We did cheat halfway got the tube. <laughs> but we just cycled up from Gloucester Road to Hyde Park. I think we're still in Kensington Park, actually. Um, and we're about to pass the Royal Albert Hall and the Statue of Albert as well. So I'll show you guys that. And then where's the first stop, Alan? Is it Soho for Liberty? Oh, we're heading there. And then after that, we're going to go to King's Cross get some bao, delicious, you know, that's one of our favourite places to eat. Um, and we'll take you along with us. On my trusty Tokyo bike, super lightweight, which is one of the best things about it. And Alan's on his, what's your bike called again? Bike ID, bike ID. And yeah, I will show you when we get to Albert's statue and then we'll have a horse just over there. So let's go. bit windy so hopefully you can hear me we're not on the road really here um it's kind of gated off i mean cars can come here but it's pretty rare so it's very easy for me to cycle and talk to you guys here obviously on the road we're being really safe got our helmets on and look left and right and do all the stuff i'm meant to do um but you'll see just here is prince albert's statue Obviously we know Prince Albert was the love of Queen Victoria's life and there is kind of monuments and memories for him all over London. And then just opposite is the Royal Albert Hall, which is a very grand, beautiful old building. It's often concerts there, um, theatre shows, everything's there really. So it was really windy here again, so you wouldn't have been able to hear me talk, but basically I was saying how they've made lots of like really great cycle routes um, all over London. That's what I'm on now. To the left of me is Kensington Gardens, which is where Kensington Palace is. And then to the right is Hyde Park, which we're going to be going into um, very shortly. 
beautiful beautiful park very big um, and there's lots of cycle routes throughout the park as well so I'm just turning now I'm um, sorry about the wobble I just had to really make sure that I was going in the right direction um, but where we're going to cycle down now is called the mile um, and it's called the mile because it's a mile long you can see on the right side of me there's like um, sand for horses so you'll see a lot of horses um, around the area I forgot to say as well that if you look straight ahead in the distance um, you'll see like a pointy building that's the shard and next to it, it you can see the London Eye this is a really great place to get a view um, of the Shard and London Eye as well if you want to go to the mile to the left I was just showing you some people doing like a workout class um, but actually just on the other side of those trees I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see a little bit of water there I think you can see it here now um, and that is Serpentine so there's a little like cafe there um, and a restaurant at one end as well and you can get little pedalos out and rent those pedalos on the Serpentine it's like a little lake um, or pond probably is more more right um, and also you can swim in the serpentine um, sometimes in the summer um, and then here we are actually that's carriages straight ahead uh, which now you've missed um, because we've cycled past it um, but we're now heading kind of more towards like Bond Street area um, and this is actually now Regent Street so I didn't think about how quick we went between the different places um, and I basically, this is actually Liberty is on the right here, but it's covered in scaffolding because they're doing repairs. Um, and I missed my turning. Alan turned right earlier and I missed it. So now what I did was at this um, zebra crossing, I crossed on the crossing and then I cycled because there were no people on the pavement. I just thought there was so much traffic there that it was safe of just for me to stay on the pavement to get back to the road I saw Alan go down. Um, but I think you might be able to hear me talking here, so... I will get back to the vlog now. Oh no, I've lost Alan. <laughs> the pay I basically crossed at the zebra crossing and then I went under all the liberty scaffolding back to where you'd turned and then I just had to guess which way you would have gone to find you So we've come to the Uniqlo on Ox Street, it's the flagship. On Ox Street? On Oxford Street. Oh, I thought you said on Ox Street. <laughs> on Ox Street. And we're just having a little browse at the Uniqlo oh, JW Anderson collection. That is nice. This is the men's part. I think women's on the other side. But I love this part of the Oxford Street Uniqlo, you can see it's got a really nice sort of stairway. They lay out the clothes really nicely as well. Okay, well I think there's nothing here, so next stop will be King's Cross now. We popped into Liberty. I bought a little tint of moisturizer and something for my hair. Ready for King's Cross? It's nearly lunchtime anyway, it's like 11.30 now. So we're back on our bikes and we wanted to go to Tokyo Bike. We've never been to the store before. I bought my bike um, last summer online 
and I wanted to get some attachments to fit a basket I got from them on, again online um, but it doesn't seem like they're open they're meant to be on this street which is East Castle Street according to Alan he's just checking now if they've closed down in Fitzrovia so they've also got a store in Shoreditch but we're not sure if the Fitzrovia one's closed down yeah it's permanently closed it's permanently closed oh that's such a shame okay I'll have to order it online then okay well next stop is King's Cross We're currently in Fitzroy Square. I think it's the next road on the right, Alan. And we're heading to, I think it's called Meal Bakery. Okay, we're on Warren Street now. We are heading to an amazing bakery. It's called Meal, and they do the most delicious cinnamon buns. So before, we head to King's Cross, we're stopping off there just because we're big fans of cinnamon buns and these are some of the best in London for sure. I don't know if they've got the... Yeah, fried chicken. Oh, we've been so looking forward to this for months. We've been talking about it. So here they have a special, they have a hamburger bow. So I thought I'd try that. The classic bow. My shadow is kind of disrupting it. We've got some fried chicken. Alan's got the fried chicken bow and the classic bow. I'm so hungry, I feel like I'm gonna, I want more, but we'll just eat this and then see how we go. Um, and then we also got from the bakery, because this is the bakery bow in King's Cross. Oh, it's stuck a little bit. Oh, I've taken off his smiley face. There's a caramel custard bow. And that's like a dessert one. We'll see how my lipstick is after this. Nice it is. Is it yummy? It's so good. The first time it was for my birthday, I remember. 2000, was it 17? I don't know which one to have first. I might try this one. This one looks really good. Do you mind holding the bottle whilst I unseal yeah. it like this? Or should I just use a straw? Yeah, use a straw. Yeah. Okay, we'll try the hamburger one first. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. <laughs> That's really good, Adam. Can I have a bite? Mm. So with that you bite the you bite it and then you suck. Oh it tastes like wagyu meat. <laughs> okay, we're about to try a little sad friend. This lipstick is very impressive. What brand is it again? Do you know, like, Kosher? Keisha? Let me check. No, no, have a bite. Have a bite. You're like, Eva, I want to try it. Oh, are you sad? So. Reasons to stay are what is had many aggressive and extremely well funded and stuff on the high. Mm. It's custard. It all ran out his bum. Oh, it's <laughs> nice. Thanks. Mm. 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 
you want this box for them? Mm. You have that. You. You'll like it more than me. I have my son in my bag. It's like a brioche. It looks like an egg, but it's custard. Very runny. I'm going to have our meal cinnamon bun. I can show you guys properly because I've got clean hands. Can you guys see? Look at that. An absolute work of art. Oh yeah. So for those of you that have watched our previous vlogs, you'll recognise this. This is Cold Drop Shard. Just on the other side here is a huge kind of shopping area. I'll show you more of that in a bit. Uh, we're in King's Cross, so those of you that haven't seen our vlogs before wouldn't have seen this. It's a really cool area um, in London behind King's Cross Station that they've been building up for a while. You can see there's some building works going there, and there's building works all over. But just where these people are walking over there is to get to Cold Drop Yard, amazing uh, shopping area. But I'm actually going to pop quickly into another story to see what they've got off for clothing at the moment. So there's the exit. So they've must be around the other way there's loads of shops around here um space and k like you could literally yeah sure. so, sure. i'll come find you yeah yeah because we need to get our bikes okay. Okay, sure. um there's so many shops around here obviously fashion shops like and other stories um i think they've even got like mhl which is margaret house line there's so much on offer beauty bits loads of restaurants loads of places to eat i really recommend bao it is absolutely delicious um, but yeah, let's head inside and see what they've got. So first thing I've spotted when I walked in is a lot of this shade of pink, which is my current obsession. I've never been a pink girl, but have just been obsessing over pink lately. Really gorgeous. Oh, and the skirt is pretty with that as well. The floral. And then we've got this. Um, just to say again, I have washed my hands and used hand sanitizer. So that's why I feel okay touching things, but obviously it's kind of a habit actually touching things. I'm going to try not to touch too much unless I want to try it on. Uh, but I have got clean hands, just so you guys don't worry. Got some, is it Be Beja trainers? Those are really cute. Some accessories here. There I am, pink, as you can see. Oh my gosh, look at those pink trousers. Amazing. So I'm in the changing room. I found these two dresses, 70% off in the sale. I prefer the polka dot, but I don't know if they're going to fit me because I had to take kind of what the sizes they had left were. So we'll see. Okay, I really like this. It's very flowy and big. Um, I was just trying it on with my bag. You guys can see, so there's a little slip underneath. I'm actually really surprised this fit me because it says it's a small. I think because it's so oversized it works. There is a tie for the waist. Let me show you how that looks. Which I'm not that keen on. So that's how it looks with the waist tie. I actually think it looks more interesting just like that. So I think I'm going to get this. I kind of love it. It's kind of got character. I like it with how big it is and I have to say I even like it with my socks and shoes which maybe I maybe I've lost my mind. I don't know. I kind of like it. I know with the sun gone it is not pleasant. So this is Cold Drops Yard guys where I was saying there's loads of really great shops and food places and we vlogged here before all down here is shops and it's old like stables and there's a little canal here and actually the canal's behind us but if you walk along the canal you'll get the whole way to Camden which is really cool and a really nice walk that would be worth doing if you want to kind of check out Camden as well which is a really cool area but you can see how we've got all these stables and they've been taken over so Anna was just telling me they also have a mini golf here. Oh yeah, look! But it's temporary. It's temporary and you just go around the different areas. That's quite fun. I think if you're visiting London, or even if you're from London, or you're traveling to London, whatever it is, highly recommend shopping at Cold Drop Yard. Like they have cars, they've got literally the best shops here. 
and it's less mayhem and hectic than somewhere like Oxford Street and it's got a much cooler vibe so 100% recommend this as a must visit if you're wanting to do some shopping in London even if you just want somewhere cool to look around like I said there's that walk that you can do from here along the canal to Camden just a really great area and so much to see and do around here it's got such a nice vibe So we realised we haven't actually been at Cold Drop Shard for long. We've kind of walked around a little bit and realised the time. I've got a dentist appointment in an hour and a half on the other side of London. It'll take us 45 minutes. 45 minutes? I just want to get there a bit early because I need to brush my teeth. I know, we're going to be really early. I just like being early, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're going to be standing outside. We won't. We can, we can go to Parsons Green or something because the appointment is in Fulham. Um, but I'm actually getting Invisalign fitted. I'm gonna do that now. So we're home now guys. I've got my pretty dress on. I had to try it on for Alan because he didn't see it earlier. Um, and I've also got a helmet here because obviously we kept putting our helmets on all day. And I've got my Invisalign. Da, 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 da. I don't know what that's meant to be. Um, I was talking so weirdly earlier. I was talking, poor, sometimes I get verbal diarrhea and I just can't stop talking. So that's what Alan had the whole way home from Fulham. So the dentist I went to was the the Chelsea Dental, Chelsea Dental Clinic. Um, a lot of you may have heard of it. Um, the dentist there is very well known. She's done loads of people's teeth, like helped them with the Invisalign. Um, she did Lily Pebbles veneers, which is where I heard about her. Um, and then she also did um, someone else who follows teeth. Um, let me check she's really worth following if you guys aren't already actually that's the username stephanie um i knew her first name was stephanie but i couldn't remember her username it's stephanie yaboa i hope i'm pronouncing her surname um correctly and she had invisalign and some bonding done with dr rona who's at the chelsea dental clinic that's what it's called the chelsea dental clinic um but anyway the whole way home i couldn't stop talking to alan because i had verbal diarrhea and I had just, like, I, I, it was so weird talking. It's still a bit weird talking, but I feel, think it's getting a bit better. Although, I feel like I'm pronunciating like this. It feels really weird. I got in top and bottom. And if you want to see, like, a first week of Invisalign experience, let me know in the comments, because that's something I can do um, over the next week. You can see. I mean, you can't really see them. But I can certainly feel that they're there. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Yeah, if you want to see that, let me know and I can go into why I decided to get them, what they're going to do, how long I'm having them for, um, the ins and outs of it all really. Um, you have to wear them for like 22 hours a day and sleep in them and all that stuff. So I've already had my dinner, brushed my teeth and now I've got them in for the night. And I don't normally lay around feeling so glamorous in beautiful dresses at 8 o'clock at night. Uh, actually, it's nearly 8.30, typically I'm in bed at this point, especially on a Friday night. But um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying my new dress, got my teeth in, feeling good. Um, this was meant to be like a quick snappy roundup to end the day, and it's now like four minutes in. Um, I did end up buying both dresses that I tried on. Although, when I came home and tried them on again, I've decided that that other dress, which was the button-up one, which I don't think I showed you guys it on, I don't love. I was a bit unsure of it when I put it on, whereas this one, I knew I loved it straight away. Um, is there anything else I can tell you guys? I don't think so. Um, hopefully you enjoyed today. We had such a good time cycling around. Obviously, we're very tired now, so we did a lot of cycling. And... I don't really... Is it, you don't... I'm just tired now. Um, can't think of anything else to say. Let me know in the comments, like I said, if you want that Invisalign video, like, I don't know, like an experience the first week or week in life the first week of Invisalign or something like that. I'm sure my speaking will become much more normal. I mean, you might not even be able to notice. Um, anything else to add? I don't think so. I hope you enjoyed the video cycling around with us um, because we'll probably do it again. I think we really want to do a video mainly we're using the video as an excuse to just eat a lot of really good baked goods but one thing we're thinking to do is cycle around central london to pick up all like the best bakery bits or cinnamon buns or cookies or cupcakes and donuts 
like cycle all around London because it's so much quicker on, on our bike and then try them all and we can tell you which one's the best and where to go we really want to do that so if you want to see that video as well definitely let me know in the comments but that's something that we'll be doing soon weather permitting it was a beautiful day today but it's been pouring a week and it's due to rain again for the next who knows how many days um but yeah those are the plans hope you're well and i will see you very soon bye